Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video is kind of like a th thrift with me type. Um, not all of it's a thrift with me. I kind of have like a few hauls sprinkled through here uh, because I just kind of ran out of time at some places. One store I did not get any footage at. That's going to be a straight haul. Some of the stuff I got footage of things that I per I basically what the thrift with me footage was of things that I found and some things I was passing on or getting. So the things I already got and I showed you and I talked about getting in the videos, I obviously won't be showing in the haul, but I'm basically showing things I didn't talk about. So, um, but first, uh, let's just jump. I have some other things to say at the end that I forgot to say last video, but uh, yes, I, my 50% off sale was so much fun to do. I'll probably do one more, more towards the end of the year around Christmas time. So yes, that was a lot. Thank you so much if you chose to shop in my Poshmark closet or eBay store during that time. But I went to a consignment store, and obviously I went to their sale, sale rack. So the first thing I actually found for $5 was these uh, Miss Me, like Bermuda, oh shoot, Bermuda shorts. And they are a new tag. So I listed these for 50 and yeah, so I love that. Do you miss me? That's kind of funny. Okay, these are a size 27. And yeah, so I'm expecting maybe like $40 for these, but the last pair of Miss Me shorts I had still been 10 minutes for $35. They weren't a Bermuda, but like I thought for $5, new tag, I was gonna try those out. Another thing at the consignment store I picked up was this Citron Santa Monica, 95% uh, silk, 5% spandex, little uh, button front, kind of like shirt. I love these like sleeves on it and it has like little birds throughout so if i've never found this brand in the wild before but i have got it in a swap box with the, the canary closet it's kind of funny is that a canary bird i don't, I don't know I don't, I don't know birds but um it's a bird that's all i know but uh this it really sold fast it was kind of like a kimono style and yeah it sold for like 45 dollars on ebay and i think i actually underpriced it because it sold like in a day but i got positive feedback from the buyer so I was happy and yeah it was one of my first sales on ebay actually so yeah i listed this for 65 because the comps are on this brand are really good so uh they this consignment store had a pair of mother jean shorts for like 18 dollars and usually i've never found a pair of mother jean shorts before but i did pass on those i have been starting to not i mean i've been picking up mother but i have started to not pay up for as much as i used to so it's been like hard for me to like, um, like a, it's a, cause it's not moving as fast. I mean, I just sold a pair today for $105, but it's not like selling for me as much as it used to. I mean, obviously it depends on the style, but I just checked the comps and they were like only like $50. And I was like, Keegan, if you're spending $18, you can find things that'll sell better than those. And they had like a mark on them and it might've been now, but I wasn't sure. And they had another pair of like green skinny jeans for like 32 but only like 30 percent off so i was like eh, i'm not sure about those so i did leave those behind but maybe they'll go more discounted one day and i will pick them up then but yeah so next i went to a store i went here because of my baseball tournament so this i did not get any footage in the store so first thing i found i saw they were just on the paint rack on the end aisle and i saw this logo and i was very excited because this brand literally is the closest thing I'm ever gonna get to like teleportation because it like just teleports out of my closet my poshmark closet like every time it's Albion size medium and these are just like an active wear like jogger pant color is like blue chambray or something but I listed these for 65 and they already have like 10 likes and I listened like two days ago so yeah I, I picked up a swimsuit a couple weeks ago by them and i already sold for like 60 dollars so expecting a quick quick flip for these these are 10 dollars and the other thing i found these were only 3.99 so as soon as i saw this like pinstripe i already knew what it was oh there's a the logo lululemon and i have found these pair before but my sister kept them because they're like the y2k kind of like dance studio straight leg pant they're not the dance studio i'm not sure the style name because i never sold them but they even have like the rib tag and stuff and they were just marked at 3.99 so i was like like okay i'll take that any day so and these are size 10 which is great 
And then I found a pair of Chaco slides. Uh, they already sold for $20, which is kind of low for Chacos. But they were still on the Chaco website, but they were on sale for $40 as they're like end of summer thing. So they're like really great condition. And I probably could have got more from them, but I just was like, they're on sale for $40. Just take the offer. Those were $3.99 as well. So quick flip, not like a whole a lot of money there, but I mean, quick flip. Okay, now we're gonna jump into footage from the, the first store. Um, yeah, which is where I was with my sister. So I'm just gonna show you everything I forgot to film after uh, that. So let's go to the first store. All right, so the first thing I found at the store were this pair of St. John pants. And they're just like this classic, like timeless style. They were $5, but as I was inspecting them, I saw this huge tear by the waistband. And I had some local person offer to show me how to fix them, but I just decided to leave them behind. If they were in amazing condition, I probably could have only got 50, but because of that condition, it just was not worth it to me. Uh, the next thing I found was this Zaya Active, I think it's called the Copper Charge Tank. And I remember the Lemon Swiftly Tech tank, it was $5, and it was a size large. And even though this won't be a like a high dollar flip i think it'll be so really fast so that was in great condition and i listed that for 28 i think so i'm happy to pick stuff up if i think it's gonna be a quick flip this is a pair of madewell linen blend shorts just kind of basic another one of those like bread and butter quick flips for five dollars these look to be in good condition and i listed those for 30. this is a pair of lily pulitzer size 16 plus size callahan shorts and these already sold on eBay for, I think, $30 plus shipping. They did have, did have some light fading, but I went ahead and got them because they were plus size, and I love selling Lily during the summer. This was my first time finding Everlane jeans, which is kind of crazy, but it is. These are just like a high-rise, kind of dark wash, woman's skinny jeans in a size 29. Uh, these were $7, and I don't think Everlane sells for all that much, but I, I haven't listed these yet, but I'll probably list them maybe for like 45 So... These are a pair of Eileen Fisher silk pants, and they're size large, and I'm trying to show, but the color, half-off color of the day was green, um, and these happen to be half-off. I'm shocked. They're in perfect condition. I listed these for $75, and yeah, that is like a steal. Uh, they're like the Georgette tapered silk crepe pant or something, I don't know, but I love selling Eileen Fisher and styles like that. This is, oh, I haven't picked up this brand in a while because I haven't found that many good pieces by them. It is Bowden and it's their new label. Uh, this is like a, almost like a sweatshirt tunic dress for only $5, which I thought was a really good deal. But yeah, probably like maybe like 40, 35 to 40 for that. So happy about that one. This is my first time finding this brand in the wild and these are Revice and it has a really interesting uh, like button up detail. It's almost like the opposite of the Goldie crisscross jeans, but they didn't have a price on them. But when I went to the counter, they charged me, I think $7 for those. So yeah, this brand actually does well. I picked it up at Plato's Closet one time and it um, actually did quite well, it sold really fast. So, all right, this next thing is a Zaya Active size extra extra large sports bra. And Honestly, I haven't slunk down on Zaya, but it looked to be in good condition. I think it was $2, and I listed that for, uh, I think, $25. These are a pair of men's page jeans, which I don't always pick up page. Half the time it has, like, rippling and, like, the, like, zipper area. But, like, I checked these, like, twice because page is actually really bad quality. Do not buy page. But I would sell it. It does so well, especially their men's does. And these were in a size 38, and the condition on these was really good. Um, so I listed, I'll probably list these around like $65 and these were, these have a tag on them either. I don't think so, but they're probably like $7 or something, but yeah. I recommend picking up my men's page if it's in good condition, it does well for me. Um, alright, I would at least look it up. So these are a pair of exclusively mistook like size medium which i've never found this brand before either which is also surprising because i live in the pants section these were the green half off tag but on one of the hems or like a flare style on this hem it had like the seam like came undone if you can tell from there maybe oh my mom's coming over to show a pair of lululemon pants she just found so um 
my sister is booing my exclusively Masako flawed pants, but thumbs up for mom for finding Lulu pants. I just kind of make her look through the athletic section when she's with me because I it's kind of boring for her to look through and she knows the brands decently well. These are a pair of Zaya Active that my mom also found. These are just like the cropped pocket light and tight pant in a size 6 a five dollars i listed these for 35 hoping for a quick flip but a year ago i probably would have listed those for like 50 but zaya has gone down in value but i wish it's a bummer because it's a brand i like these are a pair of dolce and gabbana little heels i don't think they're the most current style ever but they're only five dollars and i'm just gonna send them to the real real maybe make like a few dollars on them but I just figured I'd try them for only $5. If they were any more than that, I probably would have passed. And my last thing are these pair of current Elliott jeans. I basically skip this brand 100% of the time now. It really does not do well for me. And these were also the half-off tag. I'd only spent a few dollars on these, but uh, I was not about to spend $3.50 on them. So it, this brand just does not sell well for me like at all. So, um, oh, then I'm switching the camera to show what my sister found for... Um, so here, there's Ellery. Right, first she found this Lululemon size 6, like pink, crisscross back tank. This is like a newer style. My mom was showing me something, and it was not like a good brand or anything, so I took them out. But there is the logo. Um, so yeah. So this, it was ha half off color, but this did have a bleach spot on the front. But she was buying it for herself, so she didn't care. But I would have passed on it if I was going to sell it. And the next thing she found was this like cropped perforated tank this was full price at five dollars but it was also uh, also was lululemon so she got that for herself and she was actually pretty excited about it so uh yeah okay now back from the first store this is things i my mom was like trying some things on so i decided to like look around more and i saw this like fabric and i was like I've only found this brand once before in the wild, which is kind of strange, but I saw this fabric and I was like, huh, that looks like, and I touched it and I'm like, yeah, that's, um, that's definitely Barefoot Dreams. So this is a 1X, which is a great size. And usually my mom keeps this brand. Actually, I found it like three times and she's kept it every time. One of the times it was new with Tag and she kept it and I was like really sad. It was really sad, but yeah, very soft. And like, this is like a waterfall like cardigan almost like reminds me of like one of the moms let me do like the mom like you know what i'm talking about where like the moms like do like the little like and the restaurants they always complain about being cold and they're just like the cardigan the cardigan wrap like that a lot of moms would have a lot of fun with that or like waiting for their kids on the bus stop some mom is gonna like this a lot it's very soft like i want a barefoot dream blanket a lot really bad Okay, this piece is so amazing. Literally amazing. So, it's the skirt. And as, as you saw in the Thrift With You footage, I found those pair of St. John pants. And I couldn't get them because they had a really bad tear. Like, I had someone offer to fix them. and Or show me how to fix them. And, or, like, I would learn with her. She's a really nice local person in my area. But they were just really bad. So, I was like, eh, it's not worth it, Keegan. Um, I haven't found St. John in a little bit too, so I was a little bit bummed, but I was like, mm. but so I was like, usually when I find St. John, I find it in pairs. I don't know why. So I looked through the skirts. I did not, I didn't find anything else, but I'm, my guess is somebody found all the other stuff and then put it back and that one back because it was flawed and they got the other ones, but I looked through skirts anyway, and I saw this skirt and I was like. I I've, so I have a skirt listed in the same colorway, so I knew the brand. It's Eileen Fisher, size large, but this skirt is so amazing. So it's like a lantern style, which basically means like it like poofs out, but like your leg can only like go. In. I'll insert a stock photo, but like it literally. So if you don't know, I have two sugar gliders, and it reminds me of a sugar glider. Like it's like it's almost like a pencil style skirt, and like. And it has like these two flaps, like a sugar glider, and it swings. Like, so if you literally want to be a sugar glider, you should buy this skirt because, like, like look, I'm like literally a sugar glider in this thing. Like the closest thing I'm ever gonna be to a sugar glider. Go look at me gliding. 
the sugar glutter. <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna get out of this. Oh. Anyways. Anyways, so other than being looking, wanting to be a sugar glider, this thing also has lots of syllable things for it. Um, it's it's a lemon blend. It's fifty four percent lemon, and yeah, it's you can wash it. So I listed this for seventy five, and it already has like five likes. So I'm except I'm expecting a quick sale. I really want like sixty dollars for this, but there's something I don't always pick up Eileen Fisher, but there's something about oh, okay. there's something about pieces like this that uh, that are basics but they're so high quality and just elevate basics like there's just certain details about some eileen fisher pieces that really i'm um, just like like so well made so like minimalist but like not minimalist at the same time if that makes sense i don't even know but i was obviously gonna get it and i did so um, yeah, so I would always pick up pieces like this from Eileen Fisher that are, like, this kind of style, like, different, but, like, minimalist, basic, like, I mean, all of her stuff is minimalist and basic, in my opinion, but there's some that I just, like, really are incredible, and that's one of them, so I got that. Uh, okay. Okay, next, I went to the bins, which was the Jacksonville, Illinois bins, and it was, like, the, the sheet... It's really not that good of a bin, it's like at all. But I hit one sh new shoe rotation and it was really, really good. And the clothes were like okay, but I found one really exciting brand to me. So I'm gonna start off with one thing I got for myself. So it's just a Hard Rock Cafe shirt. And it's Hard Rock Cafe Honolulu. It's like this black t-shirt and it has like a lot of cat fur on it, but it's fine. Um, so people, if people ask me like, if did I go to Honolulu, like how are they supposed to know? Like. No, I didn't go to Honolulu, but I went to the bin, so counts. It's a kind of my book. Okay, I usually do not pick up this brand, so they're just like a a light wash boot cut jean, and they're by Torrid, size twenty regular, but they were new tack, which is why I got them. They retail for sixty five dollars, and I listed them for thirty five, so not like a whole lot of profit, but I figured I'd try them. And if I didn't, they have some distressing. And if they didn't sell, I could always take them to a close mentor consignment store or something. So I figured I'd those, give those a go. And I wasn't sure about this. So all I know for Levi's is Orange Tab is good and the Rib Cage and Wedgie and the Big E, I think, which I'm not really 100% sure what that is. But so these are brand new, brand new tag, pair of men's settlement boot jeans but they have the orange tab and they're vintage i believe dead stock and they're size 36 30 so a little bit of a shorter with their boot cut orange tab so i'm gonna throw the i'm not really sure how to price these at so i'm gonna throw them on ebay auction for like maybe like it's like 50 or not not 50 like 15 dollars and if i don't get a bid then I'll, I, don't, I don't know i just thought i would I don't want to leave them there because if it, it goes to the landfill, you know, so. All right, next thing I also found was a pair of Dansko clogs and these were actually, actually I've not shipped them out yet because of this pair of Dansko clogs and I have sold like Danskos like it seems like a million times. It's a brand that does particularly well for me, but lately, same with Allegria, but like I've not been wanting to pick them up recently and I really don't know why because they do well for me, but my sister Ellery found these and she, Cause she knows dance go i guess and she goes do you want these and they were rubber banded together and so somehow i like the bottom and i'm like oh those are in good condition and i looked at the, the sides and i looked like at the here for like the peeling and they looked good and i'm like oh yeah like heck yeah size 36 i'm grabbing those but when i got home i realized i realized there was like all this creasing and there's not much where the toe like how did I miss that? So I listed them at twenty two, and I got like an offer for fifteen on eBay plus ten dollars and fifty cents for shipping, and I just accepted that. I was like, I was like, well, all right. I'm like, so not like a huge profit, but I guess I saved them from the landfill, and I did the bend test to make sure they weren't like falling apart or anything. So yeah, I mean, that 
paid for like, oh, I spent $25 at the bins, so that paid for it. So these things probably cost a lot at the bins. So these are uh, Doc Martens, like men's chunky, like loafer style, or not loafer, like work shoes. Um, so I haven't had the best of luck with Doc Martens men's. These are size 10, which is a woman's like 11 and a half. So I probably list some under men's, but I think somebody still might want these. Um, yeah, so like maybe like $50 for those. All right, this is a new brand to me, uh, but I look up comps and they're really good. So this is, uh, this is their logo and the brand is Kuru and they're in really great condition. I think they came with another pair of shoes I'm about to show you. They're from the same person. These are size women's nine. And yeah, I like probably expecting over $50 for these and they don't weigh very much. So at the bins, I'm like, all I'm gonna do is just throw them in the washer then they'll be good to go. So excited to try that brand out and uh, oh, whoops, it looks like it does well. So then at the shoe rotation, this is the first thing I found. I saw them on top of the bin and I like grab them so fast. They are Hoka's and these are the, um, are these like the Bondi or are these? Yeah, Woman's Bondi 6, and they're size 9, so probably from the Kuru person, because those were size 9. And these are also in great shape, just going to throw them through the wash. So Hoka is a brand that does well for me, so, okay. Then, at the same bin, I saw these uh, leather boots, and they're actually um, Allen Edmonds. And I've never tried this brand before, but they're in really excellent condition. Uh, when I found this brand, it's either marked up or really worn. And they can't be marked up when they're at the bins. I mean, they're a little bit heavier, but like really good condition. They are a size, let me untie, what size are you? They're a size eight, which is small, but they don't look like a size eight. So I don't know if they actually are. I'm just gonna have to try them on cause I'm at like a size nine, but I, have, I was like, okay. But these look to be the same size as the next pair I'm gonna show you probably my best find so i saw these boots and i touched them and i was like wow those seem like really good quality the leather is so soft they, these are like one of the nicest quality shoes i've like ever felt and yeah leather soles so i might have shown what they were but i looked at the brand on the inside and i just see can you please tell me you can see that? Oh, one second. Fry. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. And I could not find the other shoe. And all of them were like rubber banded, except of course this one. And I was like, I was like, please find this other shoe. And I was like really freaking out. I'm like, mom, Ellery find this fry boot because they're a little made in Italy and perfect condition I mean they have very light wear because right away I was like I'm gonna list these over $150 because they're men's size nine and a half the leather smells so nice they are, feel so high quality like probably one of the highest quality of shoes I've ever felt and I'm like these have to be something and then I asked, a lady was like, oh, is this the shoe you're looking for? And she just gave it to me. I don't, she was shopping for herself, so I'm not sure if she knew what it was, but I was very thankful that she gave it to me because I was like, yes. Because I'll probably see, I cannot find the style name at all. So, uh, even has Fry at the a little, their logo right there. But I cannot find the style name at all. This is what they, it reads, if you want to screenshot that and look it up. But made in Italy. I'm probably hoping to list them at like 200 maybe. But I'm hoping, I'm expecting over $100 for sure. But, all right, the last thing I found is a brand I've only found once. This is my second time finding it. And so they are basically this jean and they're kind of like a stretch denim with like a raw hem. So brand is Good American, size 10 or 30. And they are this medium wash skinny stretch jean which is very common in the brand and like under the stretch they have like so they have like this like kind of printed pocket but okay so these were on top of bin somebody had thrown them back 
they were covered in pen marks and like dirt they were just so dirty so but i'm like out of the bins i'm gonna get them anyway so for the pen marks mom was like oh yeah you can just use hairspray and they come right out and so we did and it came right out and i'm like oh please dirt come out and it did They're, these are still damp i literally just took them out of the wash and they look brand new again i'm looking at them now and i see no stains so i'm I'll probably see that like good american doesn't have the following or it has still the same it just doesn't sell as well as it used to but i'm still expecting over 50 dollars for these and yeah so the last pair I sold was a size 31 and it sold for 71 dollars i think but those sold really well and i've only found this is my second time finding it at the bins and i was like hmm. and the clothes aren't really even good here so i was really excited to find those um yeah very exciting Okay, then, actually, are going to a different Goodwill, <laughs> and uh, let's so let's go to the footage there. All right, so a lot of you know my first stop is like the pants and stuff. So these are Pistola little cut off shorts that were five dollars, but I don't really know. I just decided to pass on them. But maybe they're a cute style. But these were North Face size women's extra large, just like shorts, active shorts. They were five dollars, and I don't know. I passed on those as well. These were Vince, which I actually kind of have terrible luck with, but they're women's size 10, and they're like the Bermuda length, just short. They had a little bit of wash wear and fading, but even if they were in perfect condition, I still would have passed on them for $5. Uh, these are Athleta size 6 petite, and I have sold Athleta jeans before, but they kind of had some puckering at the front, so I went ahead and passed on those for $7. These were Judy Blue pull-on jeans in a size 27 for $7, but they also had puckering at the front. See that little line that's puckering, so I left those. These were BDG size 34 mom jeans, and for $7, I'm just not willing to pay that for BDG. So even though they were good style, good size, I left those behind as well. Alright, this was my first time finding bird dogs size men's extra large i was very excited hi erin parker if you're watching this uh she taught me this brand but very good brand these were the half of color and i could not believe it um i think they were half off because of this little there was like a little um mystery mark in the back this is their logo and there's like the mark but i oh, that that's their logo but then there's this mark and i washed that came right out in the wash so i listed those for 60 dollars um, this is a pair of Vans Cool Pants, and I love selling this brand so much. These were half off. I could not believe that either. I'm like, why? who was not grabbing these things? I'm like, I mean, I'll take them. This is a pair of Beta brand, which I don't always pick up anymore, but I like the style of these. They were size large, and I like those, like, buns on the side, so for, oh, those are half off too. Okay, that's probably why I got, why I got them. I cannot believe these. These were half off. In the scrub section, I didn't see a ta tag, but I looked at the drawstring, and if you see that little symbol, um, so half off, I'm showing you, I'm like, Lululemon, I'm like, how do these make it to half off? Like, who, these are like the on-the-fly jogger, I'm like, oh, I'm trying to find the size dot, but struggling, but I'm like, who did not buy these? Like, how did these make it to half off day? Like, I just don't understand. These are a size six, if I can show you. And my sister already kept them, or she claimed them, or Ellery did, so those would have sold for 75 With those dresses, this is Savannah Jane Say small, like, dress. So this spray does not sell for a lot, but it sells really quickly. And this was half off. Had it been full price, I would have left it behind. This might sell for, like, 22 to $25, but since it was half off, I did go ahead and get that. I was excited to find this. So this was, like, a ruffle uh, strap jumpsuit by madewell and it was a new tag so it didn't have the retail price on it which meant it was an like online order and for seven dollars i listed it for like 75 or 85 i can't remember but i'm just looking it over for condition and it looks good so after shoes and like pants and stuff and jeans i try to go to the dresses and then tops if i have time but i looked it over this looked pretty good and Oh, I mean, it was no tag, so, but I just wanted to double check because I've been trying to check my items more because I've been seeing some flaw. I've been picking up a lot of flawed items and trying not to do that. So I just want to double and triple check. Even though I still miss flaws, I missed a couple already 
when I realized that during photographing. All right, so this is a brand I usually pass on, but this is Lowell, and it's like striped. It was full price at $7, and it was kind of like this mixed stripe pattern. It was new tag um, from Shields, which is like in Springfield. It's like a kind of like similar to a Dick Sporting Goods, but it only was on sale for $40, so I just passed on it. Um, this is a Woolrich dress. And it's synthesized medium. I didn't show the tag very well, but it was also on sale for like twenty dollars, I think. But it was seven dollars. I haven't had the best luck of best of luck with Woolrich. And honestly, I did not think this dress was very cute and didn't have any pockets. So I just like left it due to style. This might have been a mistake. It's soft surrounding size large. And it's this really nice jersey knit stretch maxi dress. And I don't have the best of luck with this brand, and it didn't have side pockets. So for $7, I left it, but I know a lot of you are, like, screaming at me that I should have got that. But this is technically a designer, Robert Rodriguez, size small, and it's, like, a dress, like, a striped bandage dress. I looked, I checked comps on these, and it didn't seem very high, so for $7, I did pass on that as well. So the final stop was the tops. This was a Madewell texture and thread. But for $5, I just did not want to spend that. So this is free people, $5. These thermals don't sell for that much, but this was okay. And I might have considered picking it up. It was a free people oversized kind of like tunic dress, but I passed. This was free people size extra small or something. Are we the free, but it's free people brand. I passed. I liked this Hey Hey or hi hi whatever brand kelly shafter knows how to pronounce it but i like the print on that but i just passed on that this is carl lagerfield which is actually the paris line is still at stitch fix the carl lagerfield is a good brand this is off surroundings like meh to pass on that wild fox is like kind of like a no never pick up for me but yeah this is free people um another thermal for five dollars i don't want to pay that what is this Oh, this was a Ruli, which is kind of like Savannah Jane, but had a flaw, so I passed. Okay, as you can see, I, like, went through all the dresses and, like, pants and shorts and stuff, but I forgot to show these shoes. So these are just basic little Kate Spade flats. They were $5, and they're, like, brand new, size 10, so probably, like, $35 for these, maybe, so not bad. And, yeah, so that is everything from that store. It was okay. Uh, I could not believe I found Lululemon for half off there. That was just absolutely insane, and I was very excited. Um, I've when I found Lululemon half off, I actually my sister found it, but it was flawed. But I've never found anything like that half off because who wouldn't pick that up, you know? Okay. At this store, it was a dollar, and for all like the green tags and stuff. So I was like, um, I was looking for green tags, and I found so these are already listed. Trust me, they did have a green tag. They had these priced at $15. Here's like the little 15, but uh, it's like XV, which is 15. But they are Jeffrey Campbell, and nobody bought them for 15, which is understandable. I've never found just Jeffrey Campbell. I found Jeffrey Campbell free people boots that I've listed for $275, and they have lots of attention. But these are just like a leather little open toe sandal, and they do have somewhere there. But I listed these for $32, because if I wouldn't have paid more than three dollars for them because of the condition but and style but uh yeah so for a dollar I was like okay I did not pay a dollar for these but I did get them they're another pair of Allen Edmonds little men's loafers so back in March for spring break I went to this Goodwill and they had these in their boutique area for 65 dollars I was like okay no but, um, as you can see, they've been marked down several times, and now I got them for $6, so that was amazing, and yeah, they, like, even crossed it out and, like, everything, so, um, yeah, these are size 10 and a half, and they do have some wear to the leather, just, like, light signs of wear, but, again, expecting over $50 for these, they have some, like, creasing, but, Alan, I've never tried, I want to try it out, because I, I only hear good things about Alan Edmonds, so I'm, like, I'll try them. So this, I only found two things that are flawed so far, knock on wood, but these are flawed. And I'm gonna probably redonate them. They're new with Tag of Vineyard Vines. 
size, they retail for $100 and they're size 12. So they're that. And so I looked at a friend, I'm like, oh, they're new tag, $1 because of the green color. And I'm like, wow, those are really great. So I just looked at the front, I'm like, those like to be in good condition. They have like this weird like spot. I'm like, that's not a big deal. But when I got home, I had like, they were folded in a bag or whatever. And I like looked at the wheel. And I was like, wait, what is that? It's like literally a hole. I was like, Keegan, how, how did you miss? How did you miss this hole? And I'm like, well, so I might just try cutting them off in the shorts. And, but like, also it's like really not, I'm like, if I, I'm like, do I even bother? I'm like, no, just, they were a dollar key and it's okay. Just donate those. Next, this brand hasn't been doing, I've been passing on this brand a lot recently, but these are a pair of green joggers. And I really like the condition of these. Usually this brand is so worn every time I find it, but these are Gymshark women's size medium. Just green joggers, probably like $25 for these. These were $5. So maybe I should have left those, but. Okay, these were also a dollar. These are new label theory, size two. And they're like a back zip, like almost like a jean pant. But yeah, theory does okay for me when it's the new label, but old label theory is like, if these were the old label, I would have passed even though they're, they were only a dollar. But um, yeah, probably like, Thirty dollars for these. I can always send them to the real real for a dollar. They always, because my buy cost was a dollar. They always take theory every time I've sent it. So, all right, these were a dollar, and I was like, thank you. I will take these for one dollar. They are A G Adriana Gold me the Stevie Ankle Slim Straight Ankle. These are like a darker wash jean, really great condition, and these are in a size thirty regular. So, probably get like thirty five dollars for these, but I mean at all so i didn't find like anything too amazing at this store but like it was just really great bread and, bread and butter so this is a pair of scrub pants by figs size extra extra small which is not the most ideal but like i have sold this figs extra extra small and they were flawed and they still sold for 30 dollars. so these are just like the classic like skinny leg scrub pants i like the joggers better but yeah probably 35 dollars for these so not bad I have a hard time wanting to pick up this brand, if I'm being honest. I know I hear only good things about it, but I don't know. It just hasn't... I used to sell so fast for me, but it just has not been doing that well for me, especially in the smaller sizes. And I've tried the boyfriend fit styles, and I have one pair sitting with no attention, but I like this hem. So it's like a little, like a little pom-pom. It's like a little duster. You could dust your cabinets with these, like after, or you could like stand on like... Or you could do like a handstand and like go on your like little shelf and like dust with these if you really wanted to. But these are G Blue new tag size 26, but they were a dollar. So, and they're new tag. These only retailed for $42, which I thought they retailed for like 60, but I guess I'm not wrong. I guess I'm wrong. So I'll probably list these at 35. I wouldn't have paid five or six dollars for these because, um, yeah, but uh, for a dollar, I was like, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, I did find this little skirt. Um, it is flawed, but it is Burberry size, little girl six. So this was actually in the women's skirt section, and it's supposed to be a wrap style, but, like, the little button, um, I think it's supposed to be, I think a button's supposed to be there. It's supposed to, like, keep clothes like that, but it's not. And I'm not really sure if this, if there's supposed to be another ribbon here. But I went ahead and got it because clothes were like two ninety nine. But I saw okay, so he has a logo here, and I saw like this thing, and I'm like, I'm not sure if it's real. But like I looked up Burberry girls skirts, and all of them had this care tag that says CWF Children of Worldwide Fashion. So it was a costume, but it's actually kids Burberry. So I found authentic Burberry. I mean, not leaving Burberry behind. All right, this or was a dollar. And I would not have paid more than a dollar for these because these are like the Gymshark 
low rise flex leggings, which haven't done well for me. And you actually, usually they have like pilling right here, but these are in good condition. They look to be like a size medium or large, but of course the tag is cut out, which is unfortunate. But I promised myself, I'm like, don't, Keegan, don't buy Gymshark if the tag's not there. And I bought Gymshark when the tag wasn't there. So I might just take these to Play-Dohs because I don't, they're going to sit for, they sit forever for me. But, okay, this is like a little skirt. I was shocked. So this is Max Mara, $1. I was like, it's not weekend Max Mara, it's actual Max Mara. So, um, I'm not sure what size this is. So, let, let me know what size this is, but, um, maybe 40 But it's, I like the style. It's like a little kind of breasted skirt. So unfortunately, it had a couple of marks and it has like this little, oh, did I even see that? I don't think so. It just does have like a moth hole, but so I would just send it to the real real or just price at like 35 a dollar. I don't think I've ever found Max Mart before. Okay, this was in the skirts but it's not a skirt it's like a tube top and it's smocked to the top and it's new tech anthropology so if this was not new tech it would pass but it retailed for 48 dollars and it's the buy anthropology so this is for 28 so i mean like not a huge profit but like hopefully it'll be a quick sale maybe like 20 for this all right, if you guys remember, I found a pair of brown pants by this brand, same style, and I was like, usually people find this brand in pairs, but I didn't find it in pairs. Well, I went back, same store, same style, same size, Grunder and Srojen, I don't even know, but second time finding it, so usually people would find it in pairs because it has like a cult following and most people have one, kind of like St. John. And I guess I missed these or they came back after I left, but these were from the same person for sure. Same size, same style. So I listed these for 65 and everybody's like, this brand sells so fast. I couldn't figure out why my first pair hadn't sold, but when I was listing these, I realized I felt I spelled the name to the first pair wrong. So I changed that and hopefully they'll sell quick after this, but they were like a linen blend. Um, yeah, I don't know how to spell this brand, apparently, but I know how to read the label, which is all you need, I guess. But even with my spelling error, I still had a few likes on it, so. Alright, this is, oh, I was like, wow, this is a really great find for $1. This is Pierre Millar. It says, extra large, under as a cashmere. And I'm like, wow, why is this only $1? Like, this is insane. So I looked it over, and I'm like, you know, Keegan, it probably has a hole because it's cashmere, but I I saw this and I'm like, oh, new without tag. Wow, for a dollar. Well, when I got home, I was like, I was like, wow, this is really soft. And in the thrift store, if I see cashmere, I'll hold it up to the light. Uh, I'll like put it in half and hold it up to the light to see if there's like a hole. And when I got home, I held it up to the light and I saw something shining through back at me and I was like, so I missed this hole right here, but it does have like this thread to repair it. So I'm still going to list it probably for like 25, but I love seeing Peter Millar. So I was kind of sad about that one actually, but that one is still listable on like the Vineyard Vines. I mean, I could list the Vineyard Vines, but it just wouldn't sell. I have sold flawed cashmere before, so I'm confident that would sell and it has the tools to repair it. All right, this brand can be hit or miss, but this dress is really pretty. So it's like a purplish blue color. Um, and it's like this long maxi viscose dress and it ha it's like a high low. It's hard to show, but it's really nice. And this is by the brand Karen, Karen Millen and it's a size six. So it lists this for like 85 and it has like three likes already. So hoping for like, maybe like 60 for this. Okay, and last thing from the store, and last part of this haul, this is a long video, but, oh, actually, wait, we have one more store after this, but this is my first time finding this collab. This is AG for Anthropology. You guys know I love AG. I love AG Velvet. So these are the Stevie Ankle, another good style, and 
their AG Velvet just does well. I don't know why, but and this collab does really well, so I was so excited to find this for the first time. Um, it has like a little AG tab and the AG pocket, so I paid six dollars for these, and I'm expecting over that fifty mark. So and their size thirty, so probably from the other CV angle. Wait, no, because these weren't green tag, but the other ones were. Anyways, excited to find those. So last thing. Okay, so I was actually really mad because I went to the store and it was kind of out of the way, but I, on their website it says close at 8 and I got there at 5.40 and they're like 20 minutes left for closing and I'm like, really? But I looked really quick and I found three things. So this is a marine layer, size medium large, little striped t-shirt. So I don't know, this brand does really well for me. I've, all, I've, never, I've never found the wild. This was actually my first time. I got it in a thread up rescue box that was actually so bad but like i made my money back on that but it was really bad and don't recommend that but um i got a pair of marine layer pants and they sold so fast so yeah i thought i'd try that out and this was oh this was five dollars it's probably not the best choice anyways um okay these i have been passing on this brand a lot or not like a lot. I have been passing on it recently, but this is a pair of Spanx. This is extra large, and they're like the re undone released hem, skinny, pull on jean. These were seven dollars, which made me think a little bit longer, cause I don't know. But uh, they're just like this little pull on, skinny like jean. So probably like forty to fifty for those. And my very last thing was. Um, this pair of just like basic little leggings, and they're like high rise, and they have like this mesh um with like a scalloped. They're just some Lululemon, and they're five dollars. So yeah, unfortunately these are like the fold over waist ones, so they can be worn like this or like the waist like that, but which also means that there's no place for the size dots. So I'm, I'm gonna have to measure these ones, which I mean, I always measure my listings anyway, but I'm gonna have to like figure out the size. I can't just be like, these are size A and cause the size dot says so, and I have approximate measurements in the description, but I'm gonna be like, no size tag, no size dot, but they, f I think they're a size whatever, but I have measurements, at, which I would just rather have the size, but can't always get what you want, but yeah so let me know your favorite part this was a very long video so thanks for hanging in there uh so let me know your favorite thing thanks so much for watching leave a like and comment down below and i hope to you guys see, i hope to see you guys in the next video and thanks so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great week